Okay, hi, I'm just going to record this uh, little video uh, showing me my microscope because I am a massive science and biology nerd and I've got a microscope at home. Now this microscope is actually kind of old, it's kind of an antique microscope that I got in a, basically a charity shop because I thought it looked cool and want to put it on my bookshelf. Um, but it still has the same basic functions as the microscopes that we use in school, so I'm going to quickly take you through it. So at the bottom of the microscope down here, there is a mirror. Now on regular, on school microscopes you might also have a, a lamp. But the mirror or the lamp, what it does is it takes light coming from, from, a, from a light bulb or from the sun and it bounces it up through this area. Now this area is called the stage and the stage is where you put your slide on. Now I haven't got slides unfortunately here, but the slide is a piece of glass um, which sits here and it allows light to travel up from the mirror or lamp through the slide and the specimen which is sitting on the stage. The stage has also got these two clips here that kind of hold the specimen in place. The light traveling through the specimen enters this lens. So this is the first thing that magnifies. This lens is called the objective lens. And then it travels up through here and there's another lens which I can take out called the eyepiece lens. So my eyepiece lens here says on it times seven. So if I look through it, things are about seven times bigger than they would normally look. Um, now that's times seven, and on my objective lens here, it says times eight. So if I put those two together, that's times eight, that's times seven. And you multiply those to get the total magnification, and that is times 56. Now on my microscope, the thing where you focus is here, um, but on other microscopes, it might be in a different place. So this is my focusing wheel, and I've actually only got this one focusing wheel, but on modern microscopes, you have a two focusing wheels, you have a large focus or a coarse focus, and then you have a fine focus just to get it absolutely spot on. Okay, right, let's see if I can actually see something. Okay, so I'm switching now to my phone so I can uh, make this a bit more mobile. We're gonna see if we can actually see something with this microscope, okay? So this microscope doesn't have um, a lens, it has a mirror. So we need to take it where there's good natural light. So right here's my windows. So I'm gonna put it down on the floor right here um, where we've got some pretty decent natural light and I want to angle the microscope the sorry the mirror so that the light coming in from here hits the mirror and travels up through the specimen so what kind of specimen am I going to use well um, I've I told you I've got lots of sciencey stuff so over here I just move that away um, I've got my plant grower so this is it's a little bit overgrown as you can probably see um, but this um, grows herbs and stuff for the kitchen um, without soil, it just has water in it. Just a little bit of side note, you basically just put water in there every couple of days, uh, along with some minerals, and, and the plants grow. So um, the one that's growing the most um, successfully is this one, it's called Thai basil, um, used in Thai food and stuff like that, but I'm gonna take a leaf, oops, from my Thai basil plant, there it is, and it's pretty thin, okay? So because it's so thin, we can actually have a look at it on the microscope. So let's put it down, sitting on the floor. Um, I'm going to put it on the stage there and I'm going to move the clips a little bit out of the way and then I'm going to try and clip the clips like so, like that. Now what you might be able to see just about, just about if you look really closely, is that when I turn the mirror you can just start to see the light, you can see that light moving maybe down there. So I focus the light up on that thing. Here it is, here's the setup. You can see the leaf down there. Let's see if we can see anything. Now, this, you can see it says seven times there. Right, so now at the moment, it's not very focused. So I'm just gonna have to refocus. So you can see that when I focus, I basically look down and I twist the knob until it gets clear. So that is pretty clear. So now let's try again. If I look down here, oh, look at that. So down there, we can see the surface of the leaf. Now, remember I said this is only 56 times magnified. The ones in school will be maybe 100, up to 400 times magnified. But we can start to see structures there. Each of those little squiggles, I believe, is a plant cell. They're pretty small, they look like little grains, but those are plant cells. So there you have it. There's a microscope uh, working to observe a 
Thai basil leaf with a bit more detail. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.